I've got the um, Yankee back up. I put it back up um, a few days ago. It's uh, it's out the tune on 27. It's tuned for 10 meters. So it's out the tune on 27, but it still works fairly well uh, on receive. Can't really transmit unless I put the auto tuner on. But um, I don't really use it on uh, 11. But uh, the video is uh, just to show the difference between the uh, I've got a 22 foot uh, vertical on this um, on this switcher box, homemade switcher box. So this antenna here, just slightly out of frame, is the vertical, and this one is the Yankee. So we're on the Yankee at the moment. Press down at the back for there, and we're on the vertical. So we'll listen to uh, FM on the mid band. German station was just on just now. So that's the vertical. When he, when he starts talking again. So we're on the vertical at the moment, and that's the Yagi. Vertical, Yagi. Back to the vertical. That's the Yagi. It's also quieter on the noise as well. You can see the noise level drop. It's quieter on noise level and stronger on signal. Vertical. Yagi. So, let's have a little bit of a. Doesn't always work, so sometimes the vertical is better. The vertical drags in more noise. So that's the vertical again. That's the Yagi. I'm just here on the Yagi. So as I said, this front one here is the vertical. That's the Yagi. But we're well out the whack by you on the uh, VSWR on the uh, Yagi, it's as well out. And it's beaming. Um, I got a, I got a picture where it's beaming now. Beam. Uh, I don't have a rotator on there at the moment. I probably won't put one on there. Well, it's just going to be beaming to Europe, basically. It's uh, it's beaming to uh, the southeast of uh, Europe. So down towards France, that sort of area. Vertical, back to the Yagi. It's not a pickup, but uh, it's still early in the morning here. It's about 11 o'clock ish or so. He's the strongest German. So that's the vertical again. That's back to the Yagi. Vertical, Yagi. On the vertical, he's non. You can't hear him anymore. So I'll just stop talking, I expect. The old uh, TS850 SAT. Vertical. Yagi. The signal's going down. Vertical. Yagi. Vertical, Yagi, Vertical, Yagi, back to the vertical. So, see the difference, even uh, even though the the Yagi is um, well out of whack. And I'll show what the. Uh, VSWR is by you, but I know it's uh, it's out, so we'll just have a look. Yeah, we've got a uh, VSWR of well over two, 
over 2. And the vertical is and the vertical is virtually non-existent on the uh, the SWR meter there. So that's the vertical. That's the Yagi, so it's uh, it's not far off two and a half. So well out the whack. I know the internal tuner will handle it. So we'll have a look now. Let's give it a go. There we go. Tuned as quick as that. But obviously that doesn't make the antenna perform any better, really. This makes the uh, this makes the radio happy. So the spacings are still out for 11 meters because it's obviously tuned for 10 meters. Uh, VSWR is out for 11 meters because obviously it's still tuned for 10 meters. So the performance is not going to be as good. But even though it's still it still outperforms the vertical. So that's the vertical, and that's the Yagi beam. So that's the difference between a uh, a directional and a vertical antenna. Not everybody can get a vertical uh, can get a a directional antenna up, but if you can, it's uh, it's well worth giving it a go.